Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and this, of course, is Blythe Spartans. If you missed episode one, go back and re-watch it, because we started the season with a bang. We won 3-1 against Gloucester, and quite frankly, we've been on a roll since then. Yeah, we've been on a bit of a tear-up, to be honest. It is New Year's Day, and Blythe Spartans sit top of the Vanarama National League North. As you can see, started off with that 3-1 win against Gloucester in video one, and then we just couldn't stop winning. <laughs> just, I don't know how. Like, we beat Warrington 3-0, we beat Scarborough 3-1, Hereford, Buxton, Spennymoor, one of our local rivals, we beat them 3-1. 6-1 against Chester. Geisley we beat in the FA Cup, we beat Alfreton, Banbury were the first team to take a point off us and that was in October. We needed a 94th minute winner against Bishop Stortford and our first defeat in the league came against Tamworth, 3-3 against Darlington. This, was, this is actually the match of the season I would say so far, 3-3, incredible, we were 2-0 up, then we went 3-2 down. And then we pulled ourselves a goal back to level it up and got a much deserved point. We, we also beat Scunthorpe 6 1, 4 1 against Southport, 4 2 against Brackley. It was going round that we might be the subject of a takeover. Those rumours were squashed pretty quickly. Unfortunately, we were knocked out of the FA Trophy by Southport on penalties. Got back to anyways in the league straight after that though against Peterborough Sports. Goal from Lewis Knight, his 16th of the season. Look at this guy, 24 games played, 16 goals. Lewis Knight has been an absolute revelation at the club. He's on loan from Gateshead. His contract expires on the 1st of January, which of course is today. We've tried to extend his loan deal. Gates said I have none of it. He's been superb. 7.31 average rating. He's just dribbling. 2.96 dribbles per game. Just creates so much. We also have to replace our left-sided player as well because Cedric Main, who has come on loan from York, again, he only has a deal until the 1st of January. So both of our wingers are now unavailable. And we're losing Elliot Forbes as well, who has been a brilliant centre-half on loan from Gateshead. I don't think we're going to be top for much longer. So obviously we now have to try and bring more players in to replace the players that have gone out. These weren't, of course, the only players that came in. Finn Cousin Dawson came in on loan from Bradford City. Really, really good centre-half. He's only played two games because, of course, he got injured and has been out for quite some time with a broken ankle. That's not ideal, is it? Speaking of players who like to get injured... Lewis McNeil, the man with the two damaged cruciate ligaments. Um, I mean, he's actually managed to play four times for us, which is more than I was expecting, really. And he scored four goals. So he's when he plays, he's going to be incredible. But, I mean, it's just a matter of how long is he going to be out injured, isn't it? What's he had so far? He pulled his hamstring, he's out for two weeks. I mean, he only came back in October... Nicky De Verdix, by the way, has been absolutely smashing it in midfield. We called him out at the start in episode one and said, this is going to be our main guy. Look at this. Nine goals, 10 assists in 20 matches, 7.5 average rate. And Nicky De Verdix is pulling all of the strings. We've got Will McGowan just behind him. He was brought in uh, from South Shields. He's pretty handy, to be honest, as a central midfielder. Does like a yellow card. <laughs> I'll be honest, he's had nine yellow cards and one red card in 20 matches. That's that they are going to rack up. Suspensions are going to get pretty high with this fella. We do have a striker. JJ Hooper is currently playing up front. Signed from Gloucester. Six goals in 15 league starts. He's pretty handy. He's pretty handy, but can he do the job up there on his own? Sort of. Obviously, we need to bulk our squad up a little bit, get a bit more strength in depth there, and maybe a bit of, of competition for JJ could be Nathan Delfonso. He's currently without a club, so we figured we'd get him in for a trial, see what we can do. I mean, he's got everything, hasn't he? We've not tried to look at, at any sort of finances or whatever to see what sort of money he wants, but comes deep to get the ball, cuts in from both wings, target forward, pressing forward. Not a prolific goal scorer, I suppose, but for this level, acceleration 13, fitness 14, determination 14, maybe worth a punt. 
We've also brought in this lad to have a look at as well. Navid Nazeri. Obviously, we've said we're losing our, our wide players. This guy has good dribbling. He has decent enough flair. He's quick enough. He's a bit lightweight, to be honest, I must admit. Um, strength of seven and only five foot eight. But again, we thought, you know, let's have a little look at him, see what he can do. Um, and yeah, we'll make, we'll make a decision on him as we go through. But we are going to have to start now looking for some players. So obviously, therefore, our... Our recruitment focus is going to be on wide players. We're going to look to need to get a striker as well. Maybe we get another defender, possibly. I mean, you know, Cousins Dawson is coming back, but maybe we have to do that as well. And just even a quick little scout about here, which we're sort of trying to find out players that are available. David Wheater, possibly six foot five, 36 years old, maybe the sort of player we might want to have a little look at. Nicky Maynard, 37. Uh, Clayton Donaldson is, is floating about there. Jordan Clark, 32. Looks like he might be reasonably well recommended. Obviously, as well, of course, we don't use... We have, we've got attribute masking turned off. We're trying to sort of pick these players based on uh, on the stats that we need. So, like, players who are doing really well. Um, so, yeah, we're not just going to be going literally, right, who, who's got, you know, an attribute above certain figures. Probably worth getting ready for the, uh, for the next match, I suppose, to be honest. And that match is right now. It is... The North East Derby is Blythe Spartans versus South Shields. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Christmas presents have come, have they? Um, this is quite interesting. So things must be going well because we've been offered a new contract. Absolutely. What a show of unity that is. Get it done. Right, I'm not going to get myself too excited, but as far as youth intakes go, this looks promising. Match has been postponed. <laughs> Okay, so we didn't get to play South Shields on New Year's Day, and we lost Knight, and we lost Main, and we lost Forbes, and of course we were worrying that this is going to have a massive impact on us going forward. We played Bishop Stortford, and we won 4-1, so maybe not, maybe all hope is not lost just yet. But this, of course, is the match that we are looking forward to. We're currently still top, South Shields in 7th, 20 minutes play, then we pick the ball up, here's Deverdix running out wide to O'Donnell, back inside, De Verdix looks around, goes backwards, not a problem, Cousin Dawson, here's Evans, inside to McGowan, who's carrying another yellow card, obviously, because that's what he does, Cousin Dawson back to Clark, it's a nice build up play from Spartans, Hickey, don't do anything silly, just keep a hold of the football, trying to wait for that opening, here's Hooper, goes for it, oh, that's close, good football, okay, Shields throw in, Briggs, Puts it in. Jenkins. I mean, look, we thought we were doing pretty decently, but the ball's going here. We just don't get tight enough, which is bizarre. Look how many men. Look how many men he's got. Still gets the header away. Mitchell launches it forward. Gives the ball away, actually. Briggs. Shields looking to come forward again. Pressure's on now, isn't it? Ball down the channel. There's Watson. Pulls it back, and it's... <laughs> It's 2-1, two, it's 2-0. Two oh dear. We've changed from our counter-attack system. We've gone more for the Gegen press, and that's not worked either. And we're now 3-0 down. Bordenham picks it up. Little. Come on, down the line. I oh, was just giving the ball away. This is really poor. Little wins it back. Hickey. Hooper. Goals. <laughs> what the hell? How's he scored that? That's crazy. Look, Gleeber giving the ball back. Let him have another go, right? How I've got no idea how he scored that. We've given the ball away here. Joyce uh, should have actually pressed a bit harder, but Hickey gives it to Hooper, and I mean, look, that goalkeeper's got to do better from there, surely. Unfortunately, though, it's not enough, is it? It's not enough. We've been absolutely hammered. We've just come off the back of a 3-1 defeat against South Shields at Croft Park, so we're going to go to their place, the first Cloud Arena, and hopefully... Give them a taste of their own medicine. Here we go then. We are going to go with our standard 4-3-3 formation. Will McGowan, of course, who loves to get a yellow card, is suspended. So Arneson's going to have to come in, but he's more of an, of an attacking midfielder. So maybe Hickey is going to have to drop back in that ball winner midfielder role. He's going to have to do a little bit more defensive work for us in this match than he may be expected. And I think Arneson is more of a, uh, of a Mazzala player. But I'm going to put him as a central midfielder on attack for now, and just see if that works, um, and see if that sort of pairs with the verdicts. It might not, but we'll uh, we'll have a little look and see, shall we? 
also Evans wasn't very good in that last match either. So I replaced him, him back with Joe Oliver. Cousin Dawson's in, and yeah, we we need we need a new a new winger as well because Joyce just isn't quite cutting it. Hey, let's go for it, right? Spartans in green and white stripes. South Shields in claret and blue. Burke's corner. Watson was a thorn on our side the last game, actually, as well. Hooper picks it out. Intercepts. On the break now. Here's Joyce. Gives the ball away again. We need to get a left-sided player in pretty quickly, to be honest, because Main was excellent, and Joyce just ain't quite the guy. Ball's played through. Hang on, have we got a penalty? Oh, that's soft. That is very soft. Upsteps to verdicts. Slams it in. Get in. 1-0. 10 goals of the season for Deverdix from the penalty spot. And I'll be honest, shouldn't celebrate it because that was, well, in terms of how penalties go, yeah, wasn't that wasn't a stone wall, was it? All right, free kick. Adams floats it in. Dawson heads it away. Burke, Adams, back inside. Watson, Oliver's standing around and that's a huge save from Mitchell. Oliver again. All right, Little. Joyce comes inside, back outside the Little. Bit of space. Can he put a cross in? Joyce. Hickey. Bit of movement on the inside. Clark. It's okay. Look how the midfielders are all moving around. That's nice. Verdicts. Verdicts. Great ball. O'Donnell. What a goal that is. That's what we're talking about. O'Donnell moving in from the inside. Gets himself in a good position. Opens up his body and bends the ball in with his left foot. But it's all made by this movement here. So look at this movement. There's our three midfielders. There's Hooper pulling wide. And you don't even see O'Connell on this side here. Just tucking in. There he is now. So we've got four in line up front. O'Connell's about to go. De Verdicks, what a pass into this little channel here. O'Donnell's away. And look at that for a finish. Okay, corner coming in now. Adams, short corner, in fact, to Ladapo. Back to Adams. That's a nice play, actually. And hang on, no one's getting near Briggs. Uh, we're on a break now. O'Donnell, Joyce, what can you do? Do something, please, mate. Don't just give the ball away like that. You know when you try and like sort of give someone an opportunity and go, like, I want to I want to actually let you play, but I don't think he's ready for it yet at the minute, unfortunately. Hooper's won that back brilliantly. There's Arneson. There's O'Donnell now. O'Donnell goes forward again, and he's done it again. <laughs> <laughs> what a goal. Absolute counter-attack football from Spartans. From their corner all the way back up. Hooper in there putting a shift in. My word. That's a centre-forward throwing his boots around there. O'Donnell gets a bit of lucky to go past the defender there. But what a finish past Bonnie. That is absolute retribution for last week, to be honest. 3-1 at our place. We're 3-0 up at their place. Four shots. Four on target. I'm going to bring Joyce off and I'm going to put Ndweni on. Give him his debut. Little's on the yellow card. Um, let's put Bordenham in there then, just in case. We can, of course, move Harrison Clark into midfield if we need to as well, uh, as an option, but let's see how we do. So two changes at half-time. We could have as well considered moving it out to wing play, but I figure keeping it as counter-attack at the minute is probably the best way to do it. We are positive as well, so we might even be able to move back to balanced if needs be and try and just kill the game off a little bit. Or we could give away a penalty like that, which... Kind of makes the game a little bit more interesting, really. Bordenham decides, I've been on the pitch four minutes, I'll just throw a leg out. What a save! What a save! Mitchell says, you know what? No, it's fine, Bordenham, I've got your back. Free kick now for Briggs. Whips it in deep. Just over the top. Shields come forward again. Ball's played in. Cousin Dawson collects it. Bordenham now. Up the line. Hooper. Clark gives it away. In a dangerous position. Watson's coming charging forward. And that's a hell of a finish. What about that? In off the underside of the crossbar. That's going to shake for days. What a strike that is. But it all comes here. This is all Clark's fault. Look. Gives the ball away. Undersells it to Deverdix. Jenkins picks it up. Great interception. Watson. And of course, it's usually going to be Oliver who's marking Watson. But he's miles away. Watson's got the run of the pitch. And he's still... It's, he's got to play a good pass in here, mind. He does. And that... Is a great finish. That's a great finish from Blackett. 3-1. Game on now. Playing out from the back here. Evans. Watson's chasing it down. Evans down the line though to O'Donnell. Gives it away. Brian. Broadbent up over the top. Chases on. Evans gets there. De Verdicks has just hit him on the head though. Jenkins. This feels bad. This feels bad. Watson. This feels very bad. 
Three, two. Oh dear. Now we've got decisions to make. Jenkins inside. Watson loads of space. He's a bugger, this Watson, isn't he? He's won the ball back again. And he's away on his bike. We're going to go, go balanced, I reckon. Maybe even cautious, in fact. I, I, I can feel a third goal coming. Jenkins. Not Watson again. Not Watson again. <laughs> I'm looking around at the players we've got on the pitch. The players that have on the bench. Clark's off the post. We need I didn't even see that. Bodenham. Here's and Dwenny. Oh, there we go. Go on, son. Get yourself a goal on your debut. Get in. That's what we want. I, to be fair, that all came from the from the corner that I didn't really see. Harrison Clark's header hits the post. Harrison and, and Dwenny, keeper's got to do better. That's the second time he's been caught from distance, isn't he? He was the same with Hooper in the last match. At their place, which was obviously showed just before this one started. So, yeah, maybe take shots at Bonnie from distance. 4-2. Can we see this one out now? Mitchell launches it. We've missed the header. Ball's back inside. Still inside. Elliot Wheeler. Stand him up. <laughs> Disallowed somehow. I think we've been I think we've got lucky with that one to be honest. Corners come in, headed away. Right, shields down the line again, broad bend. They're gonna come inside again. Five minutes to go. Who's marking him? Nobody apparently. Bordenham, get rid of it, get rid of it. Don't, don't do that. What's he done there? That's absolutely ridiculous. Bordenham, no problem at all. Just get the ball down the line. Get it down the line. Get it down. If in doubt, kick it out. And then this, Clark, muscled off the ball by a little wheeler. Martin's got loads of space. Pings it straight past the goalkeeper. Now, we've got five minutes to hang on. Again. And I've got no idea how we've done it, but we have hung on. <laughs> it's 4-3. 3-0 up at half-time. We finished the match 4-3. I mean, my word. Right, so there you go then. That's the end of the match. I think we definitely need to get some more wide players in. And we need to get another centre-half and possibly a goal scorer as well before the end of the season. So we're going to go and do that. Next video will be the end of the season where hopefully we're still up near the top end of the table and hopefully we're talking about promotion into the National League. Fingers crossed. It's going well so far. Hope you're enjoying it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Take care of yourselves. Leave a comment below. We'll see you very soon on the next one.